Your party, why did your party want to grant over a hundred million dollars in regulatory relief to the mainstream media? We don't want to give uh, any tax dollars to the mainstream media. We, our belief is that the mainstream media you at all. Decision, then? Uh, your party's decision to grant regulatory relief? So I'll, I'll answer your question. Uh, the media that is bought and paid for, which, where are you from, by the way? Canadian Press. Ah, okay. Canadian Press. So you're talking about tax dollars for media. Is, isn't CBC your biggest? Isn't, no, I, I can answer. Yeah. Any, do you want to answer? The party wants to bring a hundred million dollars in Sorry. regulatory relief to the mainstream media. Why, I am answering why the question. Do you regret granting a hundred million dollars in regulatory relief to the mainstream media? Your question is false. So if you can allow me to correct your falsehoods, then we can we can answer the question directly. So false. Canadian conservatives do not believe in giving tax dollars to media outlets. That's Justin Trudeau. That's Justin Trudeau. That's Justin Trudeau. OK, if you, if you don't want me to answer the question, I'll move on to someone else. So question answer. You I'm to trying to. to I'm trying to. But you're heckling. Are you, going, are you going to let me answer the question or are you just going to heckle on behalf of Justin Trudeau? So our, our party does not support tax dollars for media outlets because that's when we end up with biased media like you who come here and articulate the PMO talking points rather than uh, delivering uh, real news to the Canadian people. Justin Trudeau gave Bell Media and other media tax dollars supposedly to protect media jobs. And then what happened? They all got laid off. So that, so that the supposed justification for giving, for giving Bell all this money was that it was going to save media jobs. Well, they all got fired. So I guess that wasn't the real reason for giving tax dollars to the media. The real reason was for him to buy support from the media, which is what it actually did. So we believe that media should be driven by readership, viewership, and listenership. And that's what allows it to, to represent the Canadian people rather than taking marching orders from the PMO. Championing media autonomy and opposing the allocation of taxes to media outlets serves to curtail government intervention, favoring independent media sustained without financial backing from the government. Delving into the realms of authenticity and truth, Pierre Poilievre contends that media dynamics are shaped by the audience's engagement, uninfluenced by political agendas. Instead, it aligns with the interests and concerns of the Canadian public, embodying genuine journalism. Poilievre points out how observing the CBC reveals a public perception of mainstream media potential bias, especially when tethered to government financial support. Examining Poilievre's assertion through the lens of personal responsibility, he advocates for media sustaining itself based on its readership rather than relying on government funding. This resonates with the democratic principle that individuals should be accountable for their sustenance. Criticism surfaces regarding government spending on the media, especially when financial support aimed at preserving media jobs yields unmet expectations. Skepticism abounds concerning the egotistical underpinnings of financial responsibility and government programs. Poilievre's resistance to conformity and reluctance to funnel taxes into the media align with democratic ideals, resisting external influences, governmental sway, and fostering genuine and independent journalism.